You be going to live in the city, Hannah? Farmer Price asked, pushing his battered hat up, hat up over his forehead. Wouldn't I think you'd want to go there? Times like this, I would have thought your sister would try and keep you away. So, today I'll be reviewing At the Sign of the Sugar Plum by Mary Hooper. It's set in the 17th century London. A girl called Hannah has just moved from Chertsey, which is in the countryside, to London, obviously the big city. And she's all excited, she's dressed in what she thinks is the latest fashions, and she turns up at the Sugar Plum, and her sister is horrified. And Hannah is really hurt at why her sister is so horrified that she's there, and soon finds out that is because the plague has hit London and Hannah didn't receive the letter telling her not to come. This is a really exciting novel. I gave it five stars on Goodreads because I tried really hard to pick fault with it but I couldn't think of anything whatsoever literally. So I really liked this book. Um, it's obviously about the plague um, and how it just like slowly takes everyone and it's quite scary how fast the plague was moving. I know I said slowly but I meant fast, sorry. And it's like because it gives you the weekly of how many people are dying and um, it's really quite horrifying thinking imagine if the plague was around nowadays and and it's really and in some ways it's funny seeing all the remedies that they thought would help um, really sad when um, they thought they'd have to kill their cat um, because they thought cats and dogs caused the plague which is very stupid because cats and dogs would have helped stop the plague because obviously the plague was caused by fleas on rats and cats and dogs would catch the rats obviously a historical novel there's an air of romance in it because she meets a boy called Tom who works at the local apothecary and it's really lovely um, her like relationship with Tom and how much he cares for her and I kind of love historical romance because um, it's a lot different to it nowadays and I approve of historical romance more than I approve of nowadays romance um, and I like the way things were done in this time, you know, apart from all the like horrible medical things that they thought were true. I liked the way things were done. Nice. And, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't go to church because I'm not a Christian, so I probably wouldn't approve of the church part. But now I'm going on a bit of a rant. In it's really action packed towards the end and very exciting and exhilarating that's not really a good word to use in this situation um, but you know when you love a book so much that you just don't know how to describe it um, there were no unnecessary characters it was written very well um, completely appropriate to the time period yet um, understandable to someone of the 21st century it was written in first person so you got Hannah's accounts from the first hand and yeah I really love this book so that's actually all I have to say today I know it's I think it's been a quick video um, but my reviews are gonna be quite quick because I'm until I become a better reviewer so bye see you next time